Greetings and hello from Davos, this is James, and I'm joined today here with Samantha Rose Stein. Samantha, thanks for joining me today. Uh, what's turning out to be a really lovely day. Maybe just describe to our viewers why you are in here, uh, why you are in uh, Davos and made the trip to this uh, not easily accessible part of the world. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Uh, Davos is a place people aggregate at for the World Economic Forum's annual meeting. Mm -hmm. I've been a global shaper for the forum for a few years based out of San Francisco. So the global shaper community takes on service learning projects mm -hmm. and we, by focusing on our backyard and improving the state of our own backyard, collectively the global shapers all over the world are dedicated to improving the state of the world through service learning projects. So very cool, They're very cool. And, and so one of the things that we're trying to shape at this Davos is uh, the topic of cannabis and cannabis mm -hmm. as a, I guess a more accepted uh, topic at the forum. I mean, we're not part of the official forum, but we're here on the promenade. Can you describe to me what you see as being the, uh, the role of cannabis in this environment? Yeah, so I think that if you look around right now at the forum and at the different side events you have, you've seen that there's a lot of branding with the SDGs. We know that the byline of the forum is committed to improving the state of the world. And this year's agenda for 2020 is largely focused on sustainability and security and defense. Right. And so what we're saying is there's climate change that's a huge issue and the world feels highly insecure. And so I think we're actually missing an SDG. When you look at them all, it becomes this rallying call. But what's really missing is SDG zero, which is a connection to spirituality or interconnectedness to the planet and one another beyond just ourselves and our families and communities and our countries. Yep but how humanity really functions biologically as a super organism. And that right now, by not tapping into that, we're actually harming our planet and we're seeing the negative repercussions of that. And, you know, I think one of the reasons it's really important to be talking about cannabis in the industry is that, you know, cannabis is natural. Cannabis is a natural medicine that is making massive, massive gains in legalization in different parts of the world right. and we're seeing that we might see outcomes like even you know despite the the UN convention that prohibited um, prohibited such ease with different different classified things such as cannabis yes. that countries like the United States and Mexico and Canada we could foresee even perhaps having their own treaty to trade between them um, why is this important it's important here because when we talk about the world, we need to have healing. And this is a medicine, a medicine that allows people to heal. My, my sister has primary epilepsy. Right. And as such, you know, it's, it's incredible what, you know, tested and legal cannabis that has been properly titrated can do with proper titration, how that can help or change someone's life who has a, a condition like that and many, many other conditions like PTSD and anxiety. Right. And that's just the start. So, yeah, I don't, I don't want to ramble on for too long, but I, I could <laughs> no, talk it's more okay. and more no, about no, no. why this is important. No, it is important. That's why we're here and why we came back is uh, we hosted Canatech Cannabis House last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and under the same guise, we want to create more of a dialogue and learn from the global community that's here um, about where, where we're at from a cannabis perspective. In Canada, we have our own viewpoints and we have our own uh, path that we're on, but yeah. we, we certainly want to learn. Um, one more thing I want to ask you about is technology. Now, technology is a broad term. I know that you have your own experience at uh, TechCrunch. What's, uh, what technology or technology theme are you excited about here at Davos that might be coming up in multiple discussions? Um, so I think there's, there's a few things. I right. think technology is really exciting. Technology is like being an artist where you can paint something into a beautiful vision that's now a, a thing that other people can share and feel um, hope or emotion through. Technology and uh, technologists and entrepreneurs, they have visions and then they build those visions into reality. But we have to remember that technology, like anything, is a tool that can be used for good or bad. Right. So I'm interested in the ways that we can identify technologies that we can safeguard and make sure that we're using for good to lift humanity because rising tides lift all boats. Mm -hmm. And right now we're seeing the intersection of things like distributed ledger technology and AI come about in meaningful ways. I'm also interested in how people are, you know, having conscious consumption of technology. I think, you know, as it relates to cannabis, we have endemic rates of anxiety, endemic rates of you know, depression and unfortunately 
suicide is on the rise in many, many places. And so we're seeing actual ministers of loneliness pop up in different countries as a response. Mm. And many, many people actually don't have real non-digital friends. So there's a real, real issue that's starting to happen with technology being the mediation layer for reality for people, meaning um, technology is wired for for making us addicted to it because yes. we're the profit center yeah, and our, course, digital, yeah. our digital subconscious is the profit center. And so, you know, I'd much, much rather see that cannabis, which, you know, is something that is designed for our body because we have the endocannabinoid system and we have the molecular receptors that are designed for this medicine to be legal and accessible to people because I think that for many, many people that helps them. And, and that's super relevant. It's also, of course, we want to see more mindfulness practice. And there is, there are a lot of technologies that help with that. We've seen sure. many companies become unicorns over the last few years, like, you know, Headspace, Headspace and Calm. One, yeah. Yeah. And so that's becoming more and more mainstream. A good intersective, uh, the, like you said, the practical, good use case of technology to help us, something that we can control with our own bodies, which is our own release of uh, hormones and emotions. Yeah. So meditation, mindfulness. I got it. Okay, so well, thank you so much, Samantha, for joining me today. Thank you so it was a much real for pleasure to have me. you. Thank and, you. And uh, good luck on your journey here at Davos, and uh, we look forward to seeing you at more events. Wonderful. I look Wonderful. forward to joining you guys. And thank thanks you. Thanks again for watching Live from Davos. This is James Black with the CSE, and uh, we look forward to sharing more great content with you throughout the week.